What's up, y'all? Toast and Ted here once again. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Deserted Zombie Survival. This one isn't really going to be a normal episode. It's just going to be more suggestions um, that I came up with lately. Like, um, for instance, the uh, hunger and thirst meters. I think um, it would be more realistic, if you will, if... Uh, the hunger and thirst meters both went down faster if you sprinted more often and if you used melee weapons more often. You know what I mean? Like picking picking up a gun and shooting some zombies isn't physically taxing or exhausting like picking up an axe or a sledgehammer would be, you know? So that's number one. Um, second one is crafting and uh, make it a little bit more in depth like, for example, the torch instead of just being one piece of wood and you get a torch, it should be one piece of wood plus a cloth plus some fuel or something like that. Or maybe there's like a new weapon that you can craft, like a Molotov cocktail to where you could like throw it and just create a fire, you know, and burn some zombies or whatever. Or uh, you can add like metal scraps to the game to where like if you have an empty weapon, you can go to your crafting table and turn that empty gun or whatever into scraps or the crowbar into scraps or whatever. And just use that to make new things in the crafting areas like, you know, anything that requires metal, I guess. Um, number three, I would say to use um, a new character occupation. And I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but uh, I would say to use like army or military or something like that to where uh, they come with either an AK or an MP5 that has two clips with it and two bandages and a med kit. Like, that's all he would get. No melee weapon, unless you give him, like, a machete or something, I guess. But being military, you probably wouldn't use much melee. You know what I mean? Um, next one would be vehicles. And... Before I suggested that like the, the, if the gas is empty in the vehicle, then it won't explode or catch fire or whatever. But I'm saying this time that if the, if you get out of your car and you go around and search a place or whatever, then the car just shuts off. You know what I mean? Like every time you get out, it shuts off. And because like every time you get in it and it has to restart anyway. So the, the sound of the engine might as well just go away when you get out of it. Um, and last but not least, the uh, new things for zombies that they are attracted to light instead of just sound. Like uh, if you threw, like earlier I mentioned a Molotov cocktail, you could create a fire, like you could throw one, create a fire in the middle of the town or whatever, and then the zombies just all go to that like they do with the sound of a grenade going off. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's just about it for my... Uh, suggestions this time can't really think of a whole lot more than that but i don't know how hard any of those would be to implement or whatever but um i think there are a decent couple of ideas anyway and uh i don't know that's pretty much it but um if you like this video give it a like if you agreed with any of my suggestions uh, leave it in the comments and stay tuned for more and as always thank you for watching like Share and subscribe. This is Toasted Ted, and I'm out.